Paul, we've heard a lot about redeveloping this site, turning it into a full agriculture complex. Where are we in that plan? So right now the city is uh, doing all the land acquisition. And once they're through with that, I think we'll be able to turn a shovel and start with the yards and beautification of the river. That would be part one of the plan. Tell me what we're going to see out here. Well, you're going to have a completely redeveloped complex that you would have probably set it up the way we're going to set it up if you had done it 100 years ago. But obviously you didn't have that choice 100 years ago. Now we do. We can set it up to become the global destination for agricultural heritage and innovation and uh, year-round celebrate agriculture and arts and, and uh, you know, solve global food problems and challenges as well as water resources and energy. So it will become uh, something no one has ever seen before in, uh, at least in the United States, but likely across the planet. Well, we saw a lot of political will to get that done. What kind of political will are you going to need going forward to turn this side into the vision that a lot of people have for it? Well, we just really need uh, the legislators and the uh, council members that have stood with us since day one to just keep standing with us. Uh, at the end of the day, the funding is, uh, most of it is there. Still have a little bit more to go. But, uh, um, you know, they've been supportive. The Colorado legislature has been tremendously supportive. Obviously, the mayor, his staff, and city council, uh, everybody's on the same page, and that's what we need moving forward. How's this year's show going? Tremendous. We're, uh, we're at uh, really the same spot we were last year. Last year was the second highest attendance of all time. If we can come anywhere close to that number, we're very excited. A lot of it depends on how the weather uh, does to end out the show, but everybody seems to be having fun. Thanks a lot.